diffuse gliomas are the most frequent and aggressive primary brain tumor for adults. Currently, there is no curative treatment despite the association of surgical resection, radiotherapy, and chemotherapy as first-line treatment. For us, neuro-oncologists, and for better patient management, there is a critical need to design new easy-to-use methods that are less invasive than histological examination and more efficient than neuroimaging alone in order to help patient diagnosis and to follow disease response or progression. This is why, when my physicist from INP, specialized in calorimetry, presented us their approach, we did not hesitate. And we shared with them a quart of plasma samples from patients followed in our institution and followed by our colleagues from Paris. For more than 10 years, research teams have been trying to develop a new diagnostic tool based on plasma duration profiles obtained using DSC. The they have shown that these profiles, which are very stable and healthy individuals, are dramatically changed in many diseases, including cancer. Unfortunately, very promising in the lab, this technique turned out to be unsuitable for clinical use, in particular because of its very low throughput. That is why we propose to use another biophysical method, NanoDSF. NanoDSF has three main advantages. First, NanoDSF is about 200 times faster than DSC for the determination of plasma denatrition profile. Second, plasma is loaded onto disposable capillaries, which is perfect for clinical use. And last but not least, NanoDSF can register several signals simultaneously, which increase the accuracy of the method. So to analyze the great number of data generated by this high throughput technique, we asked for the help of Exmarc University Laboratoire Informatique et Système and Hubertonia Lab in Saint-Étienne. When facing that kind of signal information, data scientist's first idea is to use modern artificial intelligence approach, that is machine learning algorithm. We thus try five classical yet powerful learning algorithm on the output of the NanoDSF. We evaluated them using a wide range of parameters and we validated the approach using the so-called leave one out method. The results are very convincing. More than 90% of the glioma patients are correctly identified by the models from their plasma denaturation profiles. And the same happens for the healthy controls. This proved the interest of mixing AI and nano-DSA to help diagnose cancer. We believe that this method can be easily extended to other cancers, raising the hope for the development of a unique pan cancer diagnostic tool from a simple blood test. And because this method is so easy and so fast, the only limit now to develop this method further is the accessibility to patient plasma. This is why we are welcoming oncologists who have access to large cohorts of cancer patients.